All right, so let's get started. This is uh, probably one of the more tedious tasks, I would say. This is setting up your task management system. This is basically the workhorse for how you're organizing your entire agency. And you know, it's one of those things where we set it up once uh, the first time correctly, and you don't have to really worry about it again. Uh, there may be some refinement down the line, but for the most part, we're just going to set it up and then you'll be able to use these tasks over and over and over again. And you can either assign them to yourself or you can get remote workers involved. So there's a lot of flexibility um, in, in the way we're going to do this. So uh, for the purpose of this, the tools click up. There are other tools out there. There are things like Trello and uh, Basecamp, Asana, but uh, I've tried pretty much everything and I really do enjoy the way ClickUp structures everything. I find it to be very simple and very effective for what we're doing. Um, so with that, let me pull up my other monitor here and let's just get going. So uh, basically, you're going to want to uh, sign up to ClickUp, ClickUp.com. Uh, actually, in the resources document, I think we have a uh, either a a discounted link or uh, maybe an extended free trial link. So use the resources uh, link in there and sign up. And then once you sign up, it's going to ask you to, you know, essentially name a workspace, which in this case, I've named this Fusion Demo Space. Um, and then it's probably going to ask you to pick a template and all this stuff. You can just X out of that and get to essentially like a a starting screen here like this, where it's asking you to start a template and all that. Uh, but what we're going to do is just keep it really basic. And uh, the first thing you should know is that we're going to organize based on folders. So we have this little plus icon here. So I'm going to click on that and we're going to create a new folder. I'm going to call this folder sales orders. And I like to just use brackets like this, put it in caps. And then I'll create that folder. All right, so now we have this folder of sales orders. You can also collapse it or expand it like that. If we click on the folder, we'll see all of the lists involved. So the way the hierarchy works in ClickUp is you have the folder, you have the list, and then inside of the list, you can have subtasks, and inside of a subtask, you can have a checklist. All right, so. Don't worry, we're gonna get through all of this here and um, you know it won't be nearly as complicated as it sounds. All right, so inside of sales orders, I'm going to create, so we have this first list here. So if you want, it's pretty intuitive. You can either click these three bubbles or you can right click. You can right click like this, right? And you can do things like rename, uh, you can create tasks, but for this, I'm just going to rename this list and I'm going to call this one. And I'm going to rename this one to client payments. Okay. Hit that. And I'm going to create another list uh, inside of sales orders. So if I'm on sales orders like this, I can either right click and click new list. All right, so I can put uh, client onboarding form submitted. All right, so now if I click on sales orders. It will show me I have two lists. I have one list for client payments and one list for client onboarding form submitted. And this is one of those things where uh, we're going to build some, we build automations based on these lists and you're going to see that in um, in my, uh, my next videos that I'll uh, produce. So basically when someone pays, we throw the client name in here automatically. And then when a client fills out their onboarding form, that information also gets inserted here automatically. So it'll allow us to uh, see uh, the task organized that much easier. So let me pull up one that's actually already done just to show you what a finished one might look like. So you can see here, I collapse this and click on sales orders and inside of sales orders we have client payments and we have client onboarding form submitted so here are the client's name the business name actually is what we use to organize 
And so this one tracks after they've paid, and this one tracks after they've submitted the forms. Uh, at the current stage you're at, you don't have to worry about that because there will be an automation created that will automatically create the list for each client. So at this point for sales orders, you're good. We can go ahead and collapse that and uh, not have to worry about it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is go down here into the lower left corner and click on this icon. And then underneath the middle column, click on import and export. All right, we're gonna under import, click on CSV file, and then we're gonna import from a CSV. We're gonna upload data from a file and I'm going to select this file. This file that I've just imported, I will, it will be shared with you uh, as a template file. So you can do exactly these same steps. You just need to save that file. And then that will be the one you select when you import just the way I'm doing it right now. Um, everything here should show confirmed. So we have task name, matching task name and task contents going to match description content and so on and so on. All right. So once you've confirmed all that, we'll click review and we can just go ahead and click complete. And yes, we're ready to submit. And then here it's going to ask you to select your workspace, whatever you've named that. And where you want to make sure that this is selected for comma down here and click next and make sure it's open and open here and then click start import. And then you're going to see this little uh, import import bar here saying that it's in progress. We can go ahead and click on check status. And once this is done, we can go back and start working on that file. So I'm just going to pause it. This usually takes just a minute or two. All right, so this just finished up. So let's go back over to our main section here. And sometimes you may need to refresh the page because um, right now all I see are the uh, sales orders that we created, that folder. And we should see a new folder called CSV import. And there it is. So after you refresh, you, sh you should um, see this as well. And uh, inside of here, we have a bunch of lists, but um, I don't want you to get too hung up on what the lists are, what they say, because that's going to all be covered in this entire video series as we go. And it will make sense as you go from section to section. All I want to do right now is just set up the template for you so that you can um, use this for all of your clients. All right. So basically this folder here represents a client and we're going to rename it. Let's go ahead and just, uh, so I just, all I did was click on the three dots here. As I said, alternatively, you can also right click anywhere on it and use this little icon to rename. So let's just go ahead and call this client name template or example. I'm just going to call it template. And when I say client name, just know that I mean the business name. So the client is the business name just to keep it simple, right? So every time you get a new client, you're going to essentially duplicate this folder, copy it, and uh, you'll create a new one based on this template that we are about to uh, set up for you. And that just means that you only set it up once. And then when you get a new client, you can just apply all the same stuff very quickly uh, in an instant. All right, so let's go through this. So I'm going to expand this. You can either uh, use that drop down arrow and see all the lists. You can also uh, click on the folder name and then you'll see all of the lists inside. All right, now we have a bit of organizing to do here because unfortunately ClickUp doesn't do this exactly the way I would have liked for the template. So um, the CSV file is kind of a workaround that we use because it's going to still save you some time. But just follow right along with me and you'll be perfectly fine. All right, the first thing we want to do is reorganize our lists here. All right, so let's, on the left side of each list, you'll see the ability to drag. So let's go ahead and move onboarding to the top followed by technical, followed by GMB and Bing. And then we have SEO on page, SEO off page. We have Facebook chatbot, recurring tasks and reports. All right, perfect. Now, as I said, we're now currently clicked on the entire folder. So that's why we see onboarding list, technical list. And again, this represents here. Uh, let's just start with the first one and click on onboarding. So now we only see what's inside of onboarding. And 
the way they have this, uh, the way this is structured is these are known as tasks. Okay, so we have our folder project name, then we have the lists. Okay, so the list is onboarding in this case, and then we have the tasks. Now we actually are only supposed to have one task here, but again, like I said, this is a bit of a workaround, so we have to fix this. So let's do this. We're going to leave checklist verification alone, and then we're going to select this circle, hold the shift key, and then click on the last one. And you see how it selected everything in between those two selections? All right, we're going to move all of these underneath checklist verification. As I said, checklist verification is a task. These are also currently tasks, but they're supposed to be a subtask of checklist verification. So we've selected all of these. Now let's go over to the top under convert to subtasks. I click that. Now I can either do a search for checklist verification because that's where I want it to go underneath, or we can simply find it by navigating as we would here. So under client name template, we drop that down. Under onboarding, we drop that down. And then we select the one that we want, which in this case is checklist verification. And now all of those magically got uh, put underneath checklist verification, uh, as you can see, as subtasks. Okay. Uh, so now I also want to do a bit of organizing here. Um, just, I mean, it's not necessary, but I do have a certain order that I like to do things. Some tasks are more important than others in the order. So let's just uh, keep it the way I, I use it myself in, in our agency. All right. So client info sheet verification. Um, that is fine the way it is um, as the first one. And then we are followed by, hold on, let me just get my list here. All right, so we have confirm service names. So let's drag that up. Um, wait, hold on. I want to just move magically. What's going on there? All right, oh, let's click on reorder and then um, change that to name. And now I can, uh, now I can drag that around. All right, and then locations is next. Then we have file. Then we have confirm. Then we have GMB access, Google Search Console access, Google Analytics access, and, page, and Facebook page access are set up. Now again, like I said, don't get too hung up on, on what all these things are because again, this all gets covered inside of uh, other uh, videos that I'm making. Um, so inside of the subtask, you can actually click on this as well. And you know, sometimes we have some information here and then there could also be a checklist as well. So the checklist is really the lowest level there could be. I don't have checklists on all of these, but some do, and we're gonna work our way through them. Um, but right now, um, you can see that we have just done the onboarding one. We have this list, or excuse me, we have the onboarding list, we have the task of checklist verification, and then inside of the checklist verification, we have nine subtasks. Um, and I don't believe we have any checklists in any of these, and that's perfectly fine. Some other uh, parts of this will. Um, now, the way this works is that if you, you know, essentially in order to complete the task, all the subtasks have to be complete. In order to complete a subtask, then any, if there were any checklists in here, those would have to be complete. Um, so just keep that in mind. That's the structure of how we're doing everything. All right, uh, so we're actually finished with onboarding. That setup is completely good to go now. Now we're gonna go move to technical. All right, so under technical, we have quite a bit. And what I'm going to do is uh, refer to the master that I have over here just to uh, keep it organized. Okay, so actually the first task we should have here is GMB creation if necessary. So let's go ahead and drag this up. All right, that is going to be the very first one. All right, and then we're following that by updating, validating, let me find it, this one right here, the schema code. So let's go ahead and drag this one all the way up to the top. So that's the second one. And then we have make site amp. Okay, so let's find that. Bring that all the way up. And then we have Google Analytics set up. So right here. 
followed by Google Search Console setup. And then Bing Webmaster Tool setup right here. Um, then we have Facebook audience setup. All right, so that's the last one there. All right, so these um, will be our lists, uh, excuse me, our tasks underneath our technical list. A lot of these things underneath there, uh, underneath here should be labeled under subtasks. Um, so what I'm going to do is just go uh, task by task and, and see which one should have subtasks. So first one, Google My Business, uh, no subtasks. All right, let's go to the next one. I'm just looking at my other monitor, so just bear with me. I'm just making sure we are good here. All right, so updating, validating, and deploying schema code right here. We're going to have uh, nine, I believe. All right, so let's find them. This is what we need to do. So I know the names of them already that fit. Um, so we have add additional branded profile. So just do what I'm doing. Click that little circle. Add hours of operation. Select that one. Add logo and image URL. Uh, add description. Add latitude and longitude right here. Uh, add map URL. All right, so we've got that one. Ensure schema code validates in Google. So we've got to scroll down right here. And then save file and add header. Okay, so right there. All right, so all of these need to get placed underneath updating, validating, and deploying schema code. So now that we have all of them selected at the top, remember we can click on convert. And then this time I'm just going to type it in. Uh, it's called updating, validating, and it should find it. And here it is right here. So we need to click on that. And now those got placed underneath here, right? Perfect. Uh, so let me restructure these. I'm not sure if this is the correct order. So, so we've got add additional branded profiles. I want to do hours of operation next. Uh, so, all right, click on reorder, then name. All right, so we've got the first one should be add additional branded profiles followed by hours of operation, logo and image, uh, description, latitude and longitude, map URL, ensure schema code, and then save. All right, so that is good. All right, so let's close that out. So this one's good. Now let's look at make site amp optimized. Let's see what I have for that. I have two subtasks and those are order amp setup and optimization. So we'll select that one and we'll select confirm amp setup. All right, so we have two selected and same thing. We're going to convert and we're going to select make site amp plus optimized by following this tree structure right here and click on make site amp plus optimized. And now those are listed here. Perfect. All right. The next thing I want to do is, all right, let's look at what's the next one, Google analytics setup. So let me see what we have in there. So I have three subtasks in that we have, uh, well, first thing is let's click on here. And by default, I have, um, our email address here, but this is what you want your email address to be. So just make sure you're not using our email address. This is our agency email address. Um, so I'm just going to actually put your email. Um, I'll probably, whoops, I'm probably just going to change this on the import file as well. Uh, just so you don't have to worry about doing that, but just know that, you know, that's going to be your email address. All right, so we have to have some subtasks here. So let me find what those are. All right, we have confirm we have access uh, to an existing GA account. So select that one, add a GA pixel, select that one, add a GA UA tracking code, select that one. So we have three. 
All right, now let's convert into technical Google Analytics setup. And now we have three listed there. Perfect. All right, uh, the next one I wanna look at is, so there's nothing under Google Search Console setup, or is there, yes there is. Uh, so under Google Search Console setup, we have nothing right now, but we need to add some. So we have the following. This one here, confirm if we have access, uh, add sitemap. And then we also have, go into GA and link, GSC. All right, let's go ahead and convert those to Google Search Console setup. And I'm gonna reorder these. This is first. And then we have add sitemap, then we have go into GA. And I realized I didn't do the, or, the order for GA for Google Analytics setup, so let's just confirm. Um, I have confirm should be first, followed by the pixel, and then that's last. Okay, good. All right, next we have, uh, let me see, is it Bing Webmaster Tools that we need to look at? Yes, I believe so. So let's look at that and I only have one subtask, it's import from GSC, this one right here. So all I have to do is just, we could just right click this one and convert to subtask. And same thing, just find it, Bing Webmaster Tools set up and that is good to go. All right, uh, what else do we have? Facebook audience setup. So inside of here, we have, it should be all of what's left, but I just wanna confirm. So we have create a custom audience, or excuse me, create pixel, add the Facebook pixel, uh, add this pixel, create custom audience based on 180 days and then 30 days. And yes, that should all get converted into Facebook audience setup as subtasks. All right, let's just get the order right. First is create the pixel. Next is add pixel to the website. AMP settings and then create custom audience. Those order doesn't really matter there. All right, perfect. So technical is done as well. All right, let's move on. Google My Business and Bing Optimization. All right, let me look at my master. All right, so the first one we have is getting images. Uh, just give me a second here, let me find it. All right, so getting images goes to the top followed by optimizing and uploading images. And then we have information optimization. That right here. GMB posts is next. And then Bing places set up. All right, so just one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Uh, what am I missing? Getting it, oh, I see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. All right, so inside of getting images, uh, let me just see here. All right, so those are fine. No subtasks, all right. Let's just go to the next one, optimizing and uploading. All right, I do have some subtasks for this one. For this one. So optimizing and uploading, uh, let's go to upload SEO and geotagged images, select that, then select geotag all images, then select rename images with SEO titles. All right, let's go ahead and move those underneath GMB and under optimizing and uploading images. Okay, good. Next, we're going to information optimization and we should have a bunch in here. So we have add 
storefront pictures, add business video. Where's that? Business video, confirm nap, add service areas, update hours of operation, add short name, add attributes, highlights, add business description, add opening date, uh, add Google ads phone number, add service categories, subcategories, and then fill out appointment URL uh, right here. All right, so let's go ahead and move all of those underneath information optimization. Okay, and then I wanna open that up and just kind of order these the right way. So let's change that to name. And let's see, first we have add a storefront, business uh, video, confirm app, add services, or service area, sorry, update hours of operation, add short name, add attributes, good, business description, then opening date, uh, then Google Ads phone number, and service categories and fill out appointment. Good, okay. So that one's done. Uh, what, else, what else do we have? We have GMB posts, Q&A and reviews. All right, so we've got create first GMB post, select that one. Select take advantage of Q&A feature, select that. Ask business owner, that one. Any reviews, all right, so those. Four, yep, those four will get converted to subtasks for um, oh, on the wrong one, GMB. Uh, posts, Q&A, and reviews. So select that one and good. All right, so let's back out of that. And then we have Bing Places Setup Optimization. And inside of that, I only have this one here, create Bing Places listing imported. So right click, convert, and then let's select it. All right, so that is good to go. Google My Business Bing optimization is done. Now let's move on to SEO on page. All right, so for this one, we have keyword research is the first one followed by title, H tags. All right, so let's start with keyword research and we need to select expand that list and save list. All right, so both of these are getting converted underneath keyword research. All right, and then titles and H tags, we have the five one, two, three, four, five. They're all going under titles and H tags. So let's just go convert. SEO on page, titles, H tags. All right, let me just check the order of keyword research real quick because I don't, I'm not sure if we have that. Uh, yeah, obviously that's the order it should be in, good. Now let's look at the order for this list, or this task rather. All right, so we have optimize the title of the page. Let's put that there. Optimize the URLs of inner pages. Optimize text with larger font. Update meta description and then configure. Good. All right, so close that out. All right, on page SEO done. SEO off page. We have social. Profile branding and optimization, number one. Then we have citations, and then we have guest posts. 
All right, so social profile branding, we have four subtasks. Let's get profile completed, optimize content uh, for Instagram, for Facebook, and, uh, and then add new profiles. Where's that at? Right here. All right, and then let's convert these under off page and then we have uh, let's see social profiles branding creation optimization okay and let's get the order correct for these so we've got uh, profiles completed optimized content or Facebook page, Instagram page, and then add to the NAT file. All right, good. Let's, let's see, so we have citations next. Under citations, we have use accurate NAP, and we have register using brand name URL. All right, convert. Under citations. And then the order there is just use nap or use accurate nap and then that, good. All right, we have guest posts. So it should just be these five, I believe. One, two, three, four, and five. And let's push those underneath guest posts. Now let's get the correct order. So we've got select one post and then select a thousand words, select three images, two authority links, and then that. Perfect. All right, next we have Facebook chatbot. So for Facebook chatbot, we have smart engage avatar setup is the first, followed by create Facebook master chatbot, and then set up bot lead magnet or sorry, lead notifications, uh, and then add Facebook chat bubble. Whoops, right there. All right, so for avatar setup, we have four tasks. We have ensure uh, this one, I think, yes. Create avatar, add correct SPF, add SE tracking. All right, so let's move all of these underneath avatar setup. All right, that one's good. Um, actually, let me uh, let's get the order proper, just in case, not correct. So the order should be ensure you have this, followed by create, uh, correct SPF, and then that is last. Good. Okay, next we have create Facebook master chatbot. So we've got build core chatbot, test chatbot. That's it. So let's go ahead and move those as subtasks for create master chatbot. Let's click on that. And then that's the correct order there. So that's good. Next, we have set up bot lead notification emails to the owner. So we should have two for this one. This uh, ensure you have the correct email and then run a test. All right, so let's go to move those. Under setup bot. All right, and then that's the correct order, good. And then we have add Facebook chat bubble and we have no subtasks underneath that one. Okay, good. All right, moving right along. Uh, let's go to recurring tasks. So underneath here, we have GMB posts weekly. Let's move that up, followed by monitor, followed by Q&A, GMB Q&A, citations monthly, guest posts monthly. All right, so GMB post weekly has the subtasks of, let me see here. Yeah, 
All right. So we should have three. And when using an image, so there's that one. Use appropriate call to action and share post. So let's go ahead and move those to GMB weekly. The correct order is this. When using an image is first, then use appropriate, and then share. Good. All right. And then uh, let me see. No. I don't think we have any subtasks for this. No. Uh, some of the formatting here didn't really import as well as I'd like, but um, you can easily just see where the extra spaces are and just kind of put them in here. So some of these are templates that I have. So these are just, uh, you know, you're going to see all this in the videos, but basically these are just templates you could use if you wanted to as, as standard replies to people who are leaving reviews on your client's website. So these are replies you would leave as the business owner, right? That'll make more sense as you get to it. I was just mostly looking at the formatting. Um, not a big deal, just something to be aware of. All right, uh, so where do we leave off? We have, all right, GMB Q&A monthly. So we have two tasks here. We have this and we have like. All right, so let's move these underneath Q&A monthly. And the order is, that's good. All right, and then we have citations monthly and guest post monthly, and that's it. All right. Um, and then reports should just have one thing here. All right, perfect. All right, so that is that is everything for setting up ClickUp. And you know, you can certainly play around with it a bit more. I'm sure that there are things that I'm not even utilizing inside of this tool that um, will help make life easier. So it's always a bit of a refinement process. But um, if you wanna get an overview of all of what is going on for a particular client, you click on the folder name like that and you'll see everything here. If you want to quickly assign, uh, you know, some of these things to people we can assign, like right now it's just myself, but if you added uh, some employees, some remote workers, you could do more than just that. Uh, if you wanted to uh, have some virtual assistants in here. And again, remember, if you don't want to get overwhelmed by a certain task, you can just, you know, click on a, a particular section such as onboarding or technical. Right. And that sort of thing. Okay. So I guess the last thing to do really here is, uh, well, actually, if you want another a tip is that, let me see here. Sometimes it helps to add a start date column. Um, so we can add a, a start date right here. And now you can, uh, and you can actually drag this over if you want start date in front of due date. Right. So sometimes this helps when you're assigning tasks so you can have a start date for something and then a due date for when you want it done. Uh, so that's something for you to manage internally with your team uh, or just by yourself. I mean, certainly starting out by yourself, this is very helpful. And uh, even if you're just a one man show, one man gang, uh, as it were, then you would be, uh, you know, you would still get a lot of value out of using this just for yourself. I mean, organization is everything. It's the only way to scale. Uh, but certainly when you start adding more projects, more clients, and more employees of yours, more virtual assistants, then this becomes even more valuable. All right, so what I wanna do is, uh, let me see, I can click on these dots here, and I'm going to save this as a template, and I wanna save everything, and I'm going to create new, create a new template, and I'm going to call this template client, uh, client management, our client task list template, and I'm going to save it. And now when I get a new client, uh, so let's say I have a new client, uh, Bob's Plumbing is a new client of mine. I'm going to click this plus icon here for a new folder, uh, and then I'm going to click from template. Then I'm just going to select client task list template. I'm going to import everything import as is, do you want to include archive tasks? And then just put yes, um, but make them unarchived just in case. 
uh, and then use the template. Oh, you have to put the name here. So this is going to be Bob's Plumbing, remember? And then we'll use that. And just give that a bit to get created. It's a lot to, uh, to create here, so just give it a second. All right, so that's now been created. So I have Bob's Plumbing. So now if we want to work on Bob's Plumbing, I click on that folder and you can see we have all of these tasks assigned. Now, the great thing is, is that if you had previously assigned certain tasks, so let's say you always have somebody who does the technical stuff, you assign all of that to your technical guy. You have someone who always does this, right? So you can split this up with your team and it will remember those choices as long as you go back to your client uh, template and just kind of, Use that anytime you make core changes and then save it as your master. Uh, so when you create a new folder for a new client, it would automatically have those changes applied to it. Um, and then when you manage, like when you're managing a client, uh, you have the ability to simply check things off. So let's say you can check an entire task off uh, and it's going to ask you, hey, you have a bunch of subtasks in here. Do you want to check that first or should we uh, close all these items automatically? So you can do that resolve all items and it basically will just automatically close all of those tasks as well. I like to show closed. I select this right here and then it will show me this is a closed task. Um, so another option is if you uh, are inside of a, a task, uh, a task list like this one and things are getting done, you know, periodically. So you can do that. If you want to see what's already been completed, you can click on that and then see it's crossed out, right? Um, again, these can also be assigned individually as well if you wanted to. Um, so I'm pretty much just showing you, you know, how we manage stuff on our end for all of these things. Uh, and, and, you know, it's just a nice way to uh, stay organized. And when a client is complete, you can always refer back to it. And then on the monthly side of things uh, for recurring tasks, these are things that you can actually set up as uh, recurring due dates. So if you just select uh, uh, the date right here, such as uh, this one, and I can set recurring, and I set recur forever, I can set weekly. So in this case, GMB post weekly, right? So let's go ahead and set that and then save it. And now this will rotate, or this will uh, be a task that pops up every week that needs to get done. Uh, same thing for GMB Q&A, since that's monthly, I can change the due date there. And I wanna change this one to recurring, and I want to set that to monthly, okay, and then save. And now that's going to re renew again uh, in another month. All right, so that is the setup for ClickUp. This is how we manage everything. Um, I, when you first sign up, you will also be presented with a, a tutorial and some basic uh, understanding. I recommend going through all of that first, and then uh, you can go through all the steps that we just did. But when you get finished with my video, and you should just follow right along. You'll be left with a client name template such as this, uh, which you can then modify even more and just continue saving it. Again, just, you can just right click and save it as a template or um, you can use the dots as well. All right, so that's it for this video. Uh, this is, your, this is your, your heart and soul of your agency in terms of how you manage things. So, um, Set it up and you'll be good for all of your future clients. All right, I'll see you in the next video.